I am going to explain about properties of Fourier series. The first property is linearity property. So linearity property is based on the principle of superposition. It states that the weighted sum of two input signals A1 X1 of N plus A2 X2 of N which is equal to weighted sum of individual inputs a2 h of x2 of n proof the fourier series coefficient x of k x of k is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus n x of n e power x of n e power minus j of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n ok here x of n is nothing but 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n is nothing but this one a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n into e power minus j2 pi kn by n so now you have to multiply a1 x1 of n into e power minus j2 pi kn so 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 a1 x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n plus 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 a 2 x 2 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n ok so this is a constant so you have to keep it out that is a 1 into 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus n x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n plus a2 into 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n so this is nothing but x1 of k and this is nothing but x2 of k. So that is equal to a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k. So here, so here h of x1 of n is nothing but x1 of k and this is nothing but x2 of k that means x of k is nothing but operator of x of n ok so this is the property of linearity first property ok so let us see the second property that is Fourier, second property of Fourier series. So time shifting property. So second property is time shifting property. So time shifting property states that x of n minus m is equal to e power minus j 2 pi k m by n into x of k. Ok, so e power minus j 2 pi k n by n into x of k. So now proof. So let us take the Fourier series coefficient x of k which is equal to 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. So this is the Fourier series coefficient. Now x of n is what? 
x of n minus 1. That means x of k is nothing but what? For a series of x of n minus m. That is equal to 1 by n. Summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So in place of n, x of n minus m into e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. Let n minus m is equal to p. Okay. So you have to take let n minus m is equal to p. Then n is equal to p plus m. Now substitute. That is 1 by n. Summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So n minus m is nothing but we are assumed as p. e power minus j 2 pi k. In place of n substitute p plus m into small n divided by capital N. So it is in the form of a power m plus n you have to separate. So 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of p e power minus j 2 pi k p n into n into e power minus j 2 pi k m n slash n. So in, this is p. Then you have to take the limits from p is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Now it is nothing but x of k e power minus j 2 pi k m n by n. So this is the property of time shifting. Okay. So time shifting property. Second property.